Hey guys, here with another video. So I'm probably gonna make this video about 10 or 12 minutes long like most videos, like the max that I say I make. So I'm probably gonna do it about the max. And um, I'm going just for a few logs over here. I'm gonna explain a bit more about what I'm doing now. So right now I'm not, like, I'm not really going to show my animals in this video. I'm more just going to, like, I'm just going to really look for animals out here in the wild. Alright. So. And what I meant by wild is in the woods. Like, I live in Texas, so it, it's in the national, like it's in um national forest, like Texas national forest. Huh. Uh, I remember when this tree first fell down, nearly killed me. It was this tree right here. Me and a friend of mine and my little sister we're out here, we were gonna metal detect, but we decided to use a little pick, like a little bitty rock pick to break this tree down. We were hitting it about right this high, so, so about a foot higher than it is right now because I broke it the other day up, like broke it up the other day. But um, I hit it, we would hit it, take turns hitting it and chipping it. Eventually we got it enough and that it would fall, but my thing was stuck. I was trying to get it out, I was like, and then my friend was like, Timber! Timber, timber, timber! Hollering, t hollering timber as loud as he could. And then the last time he said timber, I heard him. I looked up, it was about to fall. I got out of the way, and then in a split second it fell, and it would have landed right on me if I hadn't moved out of the way. That beast came off easily. I'll probably pause the video right here. Break this apart and tell y'all and come back when I find something. Well, it has been a few seconds. And, um. I'm, like, so, um, basically, uh, crap. I found something. It's just been, like, few, not that long. It's a slug. Very quite common in my area. I'm, I'm going to try to focus the camera. can't really get a good focus and the um, slime from it is causing an extremely bad shine. I also just found some kind of little bitty weird fungus. Right there as y'all can see. If anybody knows what that fungus is please tell me. Like please tell me if y'all know what that is. Oh just noticed something else by the funguses. So there's the funguses. That right there is a little bitty baby centipede. Hold on. Oh, that's just another baby centipede. Yeah, my overalls are definitely gonna have to be washed after this. I just noticed something for the first time ever. Slug's mouth. I think it was the mouth of the slug. Um. Ooh, earthworm. And if any of y'all are thinking, what? Earthworm in a log? No way. They're in the ground. Well, the dirt gets up in the log. And then the and the log is right touching the ground. The, the earthworm will sometimes, and a lot of times, actually crawl up into the dirt. This was a freaking good-sized earthworm, too. But it found a piece of wood that I can't break. Got up inside a piece of wood that I couldn't break. Basically is what I meant to say. <sighs> um uh, probably see it. this one's rotten. And if it is, pause the video. Come back when I'm done. Not gonna be much to it. It's pretty rotten. All I had to do was that. Not gonna be much in there. Because that looks like it might be oak. But I'm pretty sure that it might be pine. 
but I'll check this right. Oh, we on zoom. But I'll check that real quick, and I'll just do it on camera. Okay, nothing. Ah, <sighs> yay. Wow, it's already been five minutes. I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos like this during the spring because, um, like, um, there's an abundant, abundant amount of snakes. And during the spring, there'll be a bunch of baby snakes. Like, I mainly catch ribbon snakes, decays brown snakes. And, um, whatchamacallit, worm snakes out here. I mean, mostly ribbon snakes. Ribbon snakes are the first most common. Decay's browns are the second most common. Broadbanded water snakes are actually fairly common, too, but I don't catch them as much, because, as you can tell from the name, broadbanded water snakes. They're not venomous, but they live in the water. I've caught one, I think, before. I used to think they were venomous until one day I killed one just to look it up. I just, uh, I mean, not look it up, but um, I killed it so I could, like, open the mouth and see if it was venomous or not. And non venomous, haven't killed one since. And I caught a little bitty baby during the fall, I think. Yeah, it was during the fall or super early winter. Well, I'm about to pause the video for y'all at exactly seven minutes. Found something. Got to zoom in real quick. There we go. Focused little spider. I, this, I think, is a piece of pine knot. Ah, there we go. Get that hunk off. I'm really just trying to get under it, mostly. So I want to see what's up under it. Because up under it looks better than the log itself. Even though this is a beautiful rotting log. And that's why it won't move. It goes further out. And then also there's that log on it. But if I could break... Here, I'm going to pause real quick so I can get two hands and break this off. Bye for now. Haven't found an animal, but I did find something pretty interesting. A pool of water. It's only about that deep. Not very deep, but still. So yeah, my overalls are going to need, need to be washed. Or coveralls, not. I always get confused. With them, with the two different ones. I mean, I know one has straps and one doesn't, but like I get confused still of the, with the names. Ah, frick. I think they're. I think these are coveralls, but um, crap. They freaking suck. Like they're soaked. Well, probably about to take them off. And head back up to my house. So see you at my house. And bye. For now. I decided the video. Like I just got my coveralls off. And um. I just decided. Videos of. We. Like I'm just gonna. End it about right here. So. Bye bye.